Hi, I'm Miss Hall, and this is lesson 14, factoring with GCF difference of two squares by grouping and trinomials. We're going to review the factoring you should have already learned in Algebra 1, and there are three types of factoring you should be familiar with. This is greatest common factor, factoring a quadratic trinomial, and the difference of two squares. Greatest common factor, you're always going to want to first check when you're asked to factor a polynomial to see if there's a greatest common factor. Is there a common factor you can divide out of every term? In our example, 2x squared minus 5x, both 2x squared and 5x have 5 and x in common. We can divide 5 and x out of both terms. And when we do that, we are left with 4x minus 1. The second type of factoring is factoring a quadratic trinomial. Okay, quadratic uh, means the highest degree of the polynomial is a degree 2, x squared typically, and a trinomial means that there are three terms. Uh, to factor out this quadratic trinomial, we're going to end up with two binomials, and the binomials both begin with x because the first term is 1x squared. And now to get the constant in each binomial, I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 12 and add to positive 4. Some people write this as a diamond. Two numbers that multiply to negative 12 add to positive 4. So what they multiply to, this is what they add to. So one has to be negative, one has to be positive. It is going to be positive 6 and negative 2 multiplies to negative 12 add to positive 4. So my factors are x plus 6 and x minus 2. And the final form you should be familiar with is the difference of two squares. If you see a binomial, difference means minus, binomial where the middle operation is subtraction. And each term is a perfect square, meaning you could take the square root of it. Then you can factor out the difference of two squares. The format you're gonna use here is you take the square root of each term and you add or subtract it, the square root of each term. What I mean by that is the square root of x squared is x, and I put 1 plus and 1 minus. The square root of 49 is 7. Okay, I put these in a very specific order because this is in general the order of how you're going to factor. You're first going to ask yourself, is there a GCF? Get rid of the GCF. I mean, factor out the GCF if you can first. Then second, um, you're going to see, is it a quadratic trinomial? You'll factor as shown. And if you end up with a binomial at some point, you're going to check to see if it's the difference of two squares. Let's go to example one. Factor each polynomial completely. So in number one, A, I'm going to look, is there GCF? Is there a common factor I can take out of each term? And there is. It is x. So I get x squared minus 4x minus 5. And now I have a quadratic trinomial. Don't get rid of that x. That x stays out front. And now I've got to find... The binomial factors of this quadratic trinomial, so two numbers that multiply to negative 5 and add to negative 4, that's negative 5 and positive 1. And I'm going to check, do I have the difference of two squares at all? So the only binomial with the difference is x minus 5. Those are not perfect squares, so I'm done. 1b, start by looking for a GCF. There is. It is 3y to the third. And I'm left with y squared minus 16. 
y squared minus 16 is not a quadratic trinomial. First of all, there's not three terms. It's a quadratic binomial. It's a special type. It's a difference of two squares because I can take the square root of y squared and the square root of 16. So let me factor that. I'm bringing out the GCF, 3y squared. And I get the square root of y squared is y plus and minus the square root of 16 is 4. Okay, that's a y plus 4, y minus 4, and 3y squared. And finally, I look first for a GCF, definitely a GCF of 5. 5z squared is the GCF. So I have 5z squared, and I get z squared plus 6z plus 9. That's a quadratic trinomial, so I can factor it. 5z squared. You can't always factor a quadratic trinomial. Some are unfactorable. Um, but the ones you'll see in this unit, this lesson, I think are almost all factorable. Um, the first term in each binomial is z. Now I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to 9 and add to 6. And that is plus 3 plus 3. I do not have a difference of squares, but I can simplify uh, because I have the same binomial being multiplied twice. So I will rewrite this as 5z squared times z plus 3 squared. Example 3 is factoring by grouping, and this might be new. We're going to be factoring, what is it, it's the four-term polynomial. So we can't use the quadratic trinomial uh, method. Uh, first, we do look for a GCF. Don't see one. So factoring by grouping means I'm going to find the GCF in the first two terms and then find the GCF in the second two terms. The GCF of the first two terms is z squared, and I'm left with z plus 5. GCF in the second two terms is negative 4, and I am left with z plus 5. And now something interesting happens. I have the same binomial. I have z squared times z plus 5 minus 4 times z plus 5. So I can rewrite this as z plus 5 and z squared minus 4. Another way of thinking of this is this is the same as if I had, say, 9 a's, um, let's do minus, minus 4 a's, right? I have the same multiplier. I'm multiplying both coefficients by a, and so I can combine like terms. And I can do 9 minus 4, um, 9 minus 4 times a. That's the equivalent. You're used to simplifying that, combining like terms. You can do the same thing in factoring by grouping. You factor out a GCF, you see that you have the same binomial. So you can combine the coefficients of that binomial. That's not an official term, but the, the values in front, the values being multiplied. And now you end up with two binomials. This is not completely factored yet because we do have a difference of two squares. So let's finish this up. z squared minus 4 can be written as z plus 2 times z minus 2. And I bring down the z plus 5. And now this polynomial is completely factored. I'm going to factor this polynomial by grouping. So I want to find the GCF of the first two terms, 
which is x squared x minus 2. And the GCF of the second two terms is negative 9 times x minus 2. And I can rewrite this as x squared minus 9 times x minus 2. And I have a difference of two squares, which I can rewrite as x plus 3 times x minus 3. Bring down the factor x minus 2, and now I've completely factored the polynomial.